This is the complete framework I use to buy a stock. My name is Christophe Noor. I've been investing in the stock market for almost a decade with a performance of 24% per year, thanks to this method. So you will have in this video all the steps, all the thinking process so that you can find good investment opportunities and you can generate great returns. Let's not wait some more time and let's start from step one. Okay, so you have some colors. Let me, let me zoom in. And the first step of this big framework is to start with idea generation. So the first thing in yellow is create a watch list with FinChat. FinChat is a wonderful financial website that I use daily. And this is where I have my big watch list with all my stocks, all the stocks, I, all the stock ideas. There is a link in the description. It's a promo code if you want to try it out. And so, yeah, once I have my watch list, I call it a watch list. You can put the name. The goal is to put as many names as possible, quality companies so that you can monitor the companies. So now you start from the foundation. You have your watch list. Step one is in blue. Start with companies you are familiar with the products you know. The first step of the analysis, when you want to find stock ideas, uh, the idea generation process is not complex at all, actually. If you are a fan of Coca-Cola, you can start analyzing Coca-Cola. If you have an Apple, you can start analyzing Apple. If you use Facebook, if you use Google, etc., if you use Netflix, etc., the advantage of starting analyzing the businesses you know is that you already have are a customer, you know the customer experience, you know if the company has a moat, you know if the company is different from its competitor. For example, I use Spotify, I don't use Apple Music, so, and I know how it feels to only use Spotify. I have all my playlists in Spotify and I don't want to change for Apple Music or other services because I'm good with Spotify. The price is not that expensive. I'm fine with Spotify. This is a qualitative aspect of your investment. As a customer, you know more about the product, the services, the churn rate, etc. You, you, ha you have a lot of knowledge for these businesses. So that's why the, in terms of idea generation, the first step is the companies you know, the companies you're familiar with. If you have a good car, uh, check the brand. If you have a Ferrari, look at you. Uh, you can analyze Ferrari's business because you are a customer, you know how it works. Okay, so step one, idea generation, the first source is the companies you know. The first question to ask when, once you encounter a stock is, do you understand the business? This is the first question because if you don't understand the business, it's a pass, Let's check another stock. It's a pass, go and analyze, search for all the businesses. There are over 50,000 stocks available for you. So only focus on companies you understand. So simple companies. So if you understand Ferrari, yes, it's a simple business model. Okay, let's go. Now, do you understand Nvidia? For me, no. I don't understand Nvidia. I don't know the nanometers chips. I don't know the competition. I don't know what moves the market. When I see an interview of the Nvidia's CEO, I love the guy, I love the energy, I believe that's the future, but I can't explain it really well. How do you make money for, for the next five years? I don't know. Same thing for Tesla. I'm too dumb for this. I don't really understand what makes a car, the vertical integration, EVs, what is the cost of an electric vehicle, Chinese competition. I don't really understand the market. But if you ask me, do you understand Apple? I've been using Apple products for years and years and years. I know it very well, very, very well. So yeah, first question to ask, do you understand the business? If you don't understand, it's a pass. You go to step two. If you understand the business, you analyze the numbers. When I say analyze the numbers, I use three websites, completely free, completely free. You can do it on the internet. That's one guru focus Two. Roac.ai and three macro trends. Okay, now you can check them out. I have made a lot of videos where I use and I show you Guru Focus. That's the, my favorite one out of the three. On Guru Focus, you have a lot of info completely for free and you can check the financial evolution, the financial threat of the company, the growth, the revenue growth over the past 10 years, the earnings growth, the cash flow growth. So that's really, really great. You can check the cash 
the debt level of a company. So if a company has a lot of debt, a lot of cash, and the cash flow evolution, and the cash evolution, sorry. So maybe over the past 10 years, the company has taken more debt and more debt and more debt. That could be a red flag on Guru Focus, completely for free. You have this information, okay? How may, uh, what is the amount of debt? What is the amount of cash? You see, you compare with the cash flow, you compare with the market cap, completely for free. That's simple charts. Uh, and that's one of the best financial websites that you can get for free. So that's really great, I would say. Also, you have the buybacks that a company does. So when the company repurchases their own shares or dilutes shareholders, you also have this information. And you have the ROIC, the return on invested capital. So the reinvestment rate on the company. So all these key metrics that you can check in 30 seconds on a free website. You don't even need to go and check the annual report of a company. You don't even need Excel for this one. All the data is on Guru Focus. So Guru Focus, best uh, website to check free information, free data for thousands of businesses. So you can uh, see some data for US businesses, but also European, Asian, African, uh, any country you want. That's Guru Focus. This is uh, unbelievable. On Roac.ai, you also have these big trends for longer period of time. So not 10 years, but you can check for the past 20 years if revenue has grown. If that's the equivalent of of uh, quick value. Oh, I'm blanking on this one. It, there is a famous website. It was a newspaper before. When you have this, oh, that's value line, value line, where you have these big tables with the revenue per share, earnings per share, cash flow per share, book value per share, etc. And all these big charts over 20 years, completely for free, no need to register. ROIC dot AI. And the third one is macro trends. Macro trends, <coughs> sorry, I like this website. Uh, you have more information regarding key ratios, metrics. PE ratio, I like looking at the PE ratio, the valuation on this website. Uh, be careful, there are a lot of ads, like a lot of ads. So maybe it can be disrupting, but uh, yeah, after you've seen Guru Focus, after you've seen Rag.ai, take a quick look, take two minutes at Macro Trends. And what you want to see out of these three websites, the goal is to analyze the numbers. And if you like the numbers, go deeper. Okay, when I'm telling this, what do I mean by that? If you like the numbers, Go deeper. For me, how I do it to find great businesses is I want the revenue to go up over the past 10 years. And to go up, I don't mean up 1% per year. We're talking 5% per year, 10% per year. I want some decent growth year over year. And I want the line, the growth line, to be up and to the right. No major oscillation, no major cyclicality. Up and to the right. And I have seen plenty of businesses that were up and to the right. So. That's a good point. Second, I want net income line to be up and to the right. So earnings, profits, up and to the right. No cyclicality, no downtrend pressure. I want up and to the right for the past 10 years. If a company has grown earnings for the past 10 years consistently, 10% uh, per year, 12% per year, there is a high chance that they will continue to do that in the future. Also, I would check the cash flow cash flow for more operations, but also free cash flow. These, I can allow these lines to be more cyclical, more volatile because of working capital. But at the end of the day, over the past 10 years, has free cash flow grown up and to the right? I don't mind the cyclicality. It can happen, an acquisition, big buyback, etc., uh, big capex, etc., but up and to the right. Okay, that's for the three big lines that I want up and to the right. The other stuff I want to check is the balance sheet. A lot of cash and not a lot of debt. If I have a company that I like, but they have a lot of debt and not a lot of cash, I'm upset. I don't like this at all, actually. So now that's four key filters that will filter out many companies. Trust me, a lot of companies because that's very rare to find these investments with a lot of growth, sustainable, healthy growth. Now you remove 90% of the businesses. So for the remaining 10%, how do you filter out the best ones? You want a ROIC, return on invested capital, above 10, 15% for a sustained period of time. So 
above 15, 15. It, the higher the better. I mean, you can have 30% Roike, that's great. Roike, Roche, all these names, but at the end of the day, you want the reinvestment rate to be above 15%. Okay, so that's some good criteria. See if you like the numbers. Like shallow, like, I mean, it takes two minutes to check uh, to check these three websites and see, okay, the numbers go up, down. It takes two, uh, three minutes. Also, I want to check the buyback of a business. That's the sixth thing to, to check. Has the company done a lot of buybacks sustainably over the long term? You can check this on Guru Focus, also on, on Macro Trends, so that's quite convenient. Repurchase your own share, being cannibal of your own shares, or has the company done di dilution? Dilution, that's an automatic pass. I don't like companies that dilute shareholders. So buybacks, definitely something important. And also, maybe I will take a look at the PE ratio or price to free cash flow. I want to check in two seconds if the valuation is high or not. If they have a PE ratio, above 50 that's way too expensive for me if you have a PE ratio below 50 i could get interested because of i can add it to my watch list i'm not buying it right now but in case we have a major crash in two years i will be ready because i have done the analysis before so that's the seventh stuff to to check valuation okay so now you have a lot of information life is good and based on these this small analysis don't worry once you learn how to do it on Guru Focus, it will take two minutes, three minutes to check this. You will see the lines. So once you have checked these seven elements, you can go deeper. If you like the numbers, go deeper. And now we are talking. Analyze numbers with Stock Unlock with the Insight Score freeform tool. What does it mean? I'm using another website that I pay for this called Stock Unlock. By the way, I'm writing newsletters for this website. so. You can have some of my articles in this website. Uh, this is a cheap website that is great and has a lot of value. And in this website, you have thousands of stocks and you have what is called inside score. So that every score, every stock, sorry, has a score below zero and five. So if you have a score of 4.5 out of five, that's great. That's great. Literally, that's a very good score. But if you have a stock of a uh, score of one, that's a bad sign. So how do you create the score? It is explained on this website. You can check by yourself. By the way, there is also a promo promo code it did in the description. But I think you have a free version, free uh, light version, which is free if you want to try it out. And on the score, you have the growth, the financial health, the management, the SBC, the return capital employed. Uh, return invested capital, the valuation, etc. All the key metrics you have, I don't know, 30 metrics that is compiled to give you a score. So I would just check it out. And how I use the score is not the way it is designed. Uh, maybe that's not clear, but the score is here to assess if this is a good stock or not. Okay, good out of five, how many points do you have? But I don't look at it that way. I want to check out of this score the elements out of the 30 elements i want to check the red flags i want to check what is bad about my score so out out of this score you have i don't know 30 metrics out of these 30 metrics uh, which one are in the red <laughs> uh, some sometimes you have high margins that's in the green perfect but sometimes you have key metrics in the red so i want to highlight the the red flags of this company so out of 30 metrics you always have red flags you don't have a five out of five score so there is a reason for that it's maybe because some metrics are bad and i want to check okay i want to highlight okay maybe what do they say bad margins bad profitability high valuation uh, management uh, has um, low ownership management has too much too many stock options potential red flag that can happen from the score that's what i do and by the way you can check a lot of good things if you do this and also i also use uh, the same website stock unlock for the free form tool on the free form tool that's a comprehensive live tool where you can see the track record for the past 20 years of anything you want you want to check the revenue okay you put revenue and it will show you a line uh, earnings, uh, margins, shares dilu diluted. I want to play with the numbers and I want to do something that I do every time. I put three lines. You can do it, that's, that's awesome. Three lines. One, the revenue for the past 20 years. Two, the net income over the past 20 years. Three, the earnings per share over the past 
20 years. I want to check these two lines. And now we will understand why I use stock unlock. On stock unlock, you have, yes, the growth, the lines, the colors, that's pretty. And you also have the CAG, compound annual growth rate. I want to check for the three metrics, the CAG. So the uh, annual average return for these, uh, these three metrics. And I want to see that the CAG for revenue is lower than the CAG for net income, that is lower than the CAG for EPS. I want, to, I want EPS to grow faster than net income, and I want net income to grow faster than revenue. What does it mean and why am I doing this? You have your revenue growth of, I don't know, revenue CAG of 10%. Okay, very well, it's a sustainable business, 10% is a lot, congrats. Now, if I have a net income growth of 12%, so more than 10%, 2% better, that means that the margins have improved. That means the business is getting more efficient, has become more efficient over the past 20 years. So if net income is growing better, faster than revenue, more efficiency, which is good news, which is some competitive advantage, so f some moat, some vision, I don't know, but the business is getting more uh, efficient. And the difference between net income and earnings per share is only the number of shares, so buybacks. So the difference between revenue and net income, efficiency, the difference between net income and EPS, earnings per share, buybacks. And I want the EPS to grow faster than net income. So you, maybe you have 10% revenue growth, 12% net income growth, 14% EPS growth. Now I'm happy. If this order of uh, uh, faster than faster than this, if this is not the case, if you have an equivalent uh, growth rate for everything, I'm not interested. I don't want to invest in businesses that are less efficient over time. I don't want to invest in businesses that dilute shareholders. So for this reason, I would pass and go to the second source of idea. Okay, so now I play with the numbers. I like the growth rate. I like the tools. I like the balance sheet, I like everything. I've done some quick analysis of all the numbers, seven major numbers. I have highlighted some red flags, potential red flags for the business, even yellow flags. I write it down on a text edit. If you like the numbers, add to the watch list that you had created on uh, FinChat. This is what we do. So this is a big yellow rectangle watch list because I'm getting interested. By the way, if you're looking for a complete framework to analyze stocks and build a strong portfolio, I have a coaching program. More on that at the end of this video. And now we start the qualitative work. This is this part. Okay, does the business have a competitive advantage? I want to check the mode of a business. How is this business different? Before I talked about Spotify, Okay, uh, maybe there is some article online that talks about the churn rate. Maybe I understand something. I read the annual report. I see, okay, you have the numbers of customers that grow up and uh, that go up and the competition is, uh, I don't know, is losing track of the growth. I want to read everything. The Value Investors Club, VIC articles. So this is a famous, for free, you can check on the internet, Value Investors Club. You have plenty of equity research, equity paper, equity research papers on this one, stock articles. You have another article um, website called Seeking Alpha, free articles, completely for free. And also on Twitter, you can have some ideas and you will see on the internet some people that wrote articles about this company. If we are talking about Spotify, some people will uh, have studied, analyzed this one. So you can get the complete 360 view of this business. Know everything, okay? The mode, not the mode, the churn rate. I don't know, everything, the subscription model, the flywheel model, how, how this business works. There are several competitive advantages. So several way of having a moat that protects from competitors. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, you want to see if the business has a moat. Sometimes businesses don't have moat and that's fine. I mean, that's decent. You can make money out of businesses that don't have any moat, but I would prefer if a business has a moat. Okay, and now we're talking about valuation. Once I understand the risk, the competitive advantage, maybe the management has a different vision, clear leader, founder-led business, I want to do a valuation, basic valuation. So, valuation with multiples and stock unlocks DCF. And now you want to do a valuation. If a business has a moat, you maybe it deserves a premium valuation. You want, you want to pay up, you're more comfortable paying up because the quality is superior. And if the business has no moat, no premium valuation, and maybe a discount. If you have a decaying business that's, uh, 
that's unfortunate and I would not touch this one, but uh, you never know. Uh, okay, so valuation multiples. The valuation multiples, my process is very simple. I want the PE ratio to be below 30. I want the press to free cash flow to be below 30. So just on a multiples basis, I want this to be below. That's uh, the way I avoid to do too much risks, too many risks valuation wise, because the company can be great and be cut in half if they have a large valuation, a high valuation. And I want to use Stock Unlocks DCF. This is on the same website, Stock Unlock. They have a DCF model. You put your growth rate, you put your dividend growth rate, and you put your exit multiple. So the PE ratio at the end of the five years, the 10 years, and they will give you a fair value. You want this. You want the business to be either fair valued or undervalued. So you can check on the quick multiple, quick math, P ratio, price to cash flow, and also quick numbers in 30 seconds uh, on the stock and loss DC, stock and logs DCF. And that's it. And you know if your business is undervalued or not. And if the business is cheap, if the business is undervalued, this is a buying opportunity. And if the business is expensive, put a target price and monitor it from a distance. The target price that you have found thanks to the stock and lock DCF. Uh, so yeah, maybe you think that the business is not worth this price, but you think it you can buy it at a lower price. Okay, on your watch list on FinChat, you put yeah a target price of this one. That's a buying price for me. But that's only the first step of the analysis. I will go quicker now, but that's the first source of information. You see, we talked about Ferrari, Spotify, Apple. I mean, we all know these businesses. If you are done with these ideas, if you have used all your bullets, uh, <laughs> all the stock ideas you knew, the company, you, the products you used, you can check what uh, the best investors are buying. There is a website called Data Roma that tracks all the portfolio, all the US stocks of big guru investors. Warren Buffett, Bill Ackman, Monish Pabrai, Guy Spear, all these big names, the best investors in the world, you can see live their portfolio. And you can see live every quarter what they have bought. So if Warren Buffett has bought a specific stock, there is a high chance that this is very interesting. So you can get interested. And Again, if, for example, Warren Buffett buys a, a bank, bank, I don't know, Bank of America, he buys more Bank of America. Okay, you see, do you understand the business? Uh, if this is a no, uh, no, you pass. Okay, and then you see Bill Ackman, a big investor, is buying uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill. Okay, a lot of people in the US, in France, we don't have uh, Chipotle, maybe one or two, but I have never tried it. So maybe I don't really understand Chipotle, but if you are watching this from the US, from Canada, maybe you are more familiar with Chipotle. Do you understand Chipotle? Yes. Okay. Then next step, Guru Focus. You want to see the numbers up and to the right, smooth right, cash flow, balance sheet, return on investment capital, quick valuation, two minutes, three minutes, let's say five minutes. Let's say five minutes. ROIC, macro trends, dilution. Okay. Now, if you understand the number and you lack them, you continue. Stock unlock scores, potential red flag, free form tool, you play with the numbers, revenue, net income, EPS. So EPS uh, go uh, getting faster, faster growth than net income, faster growth than revenue. Okay. And if you don't like the numbers and if you don't like what you see, it's a pass. And if you like what you see, you continue. Add to the watch list, etc. Competitive advantage, valuation, and see if this is cheap or not. If this is cheap, you buy. If this don't don't if this is not cheap, sorry, you don't buy. That's it. So you do this process. And I'm telling you on Guru Focus, there, there are a lot of stocks because there are a lot of big investors. And every quarter, some people will sell some stocks. Some people will buy some stocks. Some people will hold. Some people will double down. Some people will exit a position that they have just bought one quarter ago. So you ask, what is happening? Has the thesis changed? And maybe you will see some strange moves, but you can get plenty of good ideas. And my opinion is this is enough. This is enough. I mean, you can get an infinite amount of idea, uh, stock ideas based on data aroma. And because there are hundreds of stocks, nobody can do the work on every stock that has been bought recently by a big guru. Okay, next one is VIC, Value Investors Club. We've talked about it before. This is a website where investors that could be retail or institutional, but mostly retail, they write good equity reports, good equity articles. So good analysis of stocks. 
And again, every day, there are new articles that you can read completely for free, completely for free. And every day, you don't even have to do the work. Put it on your tab and check every day. You can read in, in two minutes, okay, what is it talking about? Do you understand the business? If you don't understand, you skip, you do something else with your day. If you understand, you continue your reading, you read the article, you like it, okay, and you put the stock on Google Focus, etc. macro trends, you continue, you continue, watch list, valuation, and that's it. And every day, you will have uh, idea, an infinite loop of idea generation. That's a wonderful way to get new ideas because these people that write articles on VIC are really smart. You, we have seen some beautiful articles of beautiful stocks that have gone up 10 times, 20 times, 50 times. This is a gold mine. This is, <laughs> this is a gold mine. So uh, that's unbelievable. I highly recommend that you check VIC. Even if you're, I mean, even if you're st at this step one or two, even if you are step one, you are watching uh, Spotify and you want to see stock articles about uh, like analysis of Spotify. What do you do? You go to Value Investor Club, put, put Spotify on the search bar and you read for free articles of, from great investors. So that's phenomenal. So that was the uh, step three. Step four is a fund, is a, yeah, that's investment fund. Five times five, times five Russo Student Investment Fund. You have understood these are, this is a fund that is run by students and uh, these students are good. I have read some great articles. They write anal analyses, stock ideas, they write investment pitches. These are great students, very smart students. Maybe you have to monitor these students for the next 20 years. These are these, these, I have found great ideas, great analysis on this. So you can just type this on the internet. Maybe that's the first or second website and completely for free, you will get stock ideas. And again, you do the system, do you understand the business? So now you understand that you will check a lot of stocks. You will turn a lot of rocks. There is a quote from Peter Lynch, the guy, uh, the person who wins the investing game is the person who turns the as much as many rocks as possible. So the more rocks you turn, the more likely you are to find the golden opportunity. So you just turn the rocks and out of 10 stock, maybe you will like one. So if you analyze 10 stocks, you will like one. If you analyze 20 stocks, you will like two. If you analyze, I don't know, a thousand stocks, you will have 100 uh, stocks <laughs> on your watch list. So this is a numbers game. So you want to check this one. You can understand the number, guru focus, analyze number, stock unlock, etc. Mode, mode, mode. And don't hesitate to be a harsh grader because you will have spent a lot of time actually on watching the idea, looking at the numbers. Don't second guess the numbers. Be a harsh grader because if you don't like the numbers, if you hesitate at this step of guru focus, you are wasting your precious time. You are wasting your precious time because you could be using this exact time to analyze great investment opportunities, great businesses. So you don't want to hesitate. If you think, yeah, that's some decent growth, but they have a lot of debt and the margins are decreasing, but that could be something. This is the way I do. I just pass. Be a harsh grader, be a, and that's it. I mean, this has worked so far. So I'm a harsh grader and that's how I eliminate a lot of risks. That's how I eliminate the bad investments. That's how I eliminate the value traps. That works and I will continue to do that in the future. So, so yeah, be a harsh grader. And again, a next source of information could be blogs, Twitter, so X and Substacks. You have a lot of smart people, you can read their mind for free. So uh, you can check, I can do a video about this, my favorite Substacks, my favorite Twitter account to follow, my favorite blogs. I mean, I'm, I'm reading plenty of articles completely for free where they, uh, they write 10 pages uh, articles, 10 pages of articles of analysis, and uh, that's great. I mean, that's a good source of information. And again, you do your work, do you understand the business, etc., etc., etc competitive advantage, the mode and the valuation. The sixth source of information is stock pitches from investment fund. There are websites that categorize all the funds that does a compilation of all the funds, all the investment funds that exist in the uh, in our Western world. And they just list them all with the associated ticker symbols. 
So before reading an entire letter of 20 pages, they tell you, oh, they will talk about Apple, AutoZone, Google, and uh, I don't know, coal mine company. Okay, so they will talk about four names. If you are interested, you go and you read the article. If you are not interested, you say, oh, too many times Apple, I don't want to check Apple, I'm not interested. You check and you see the other fund. And I'm telling you, if you read all the letters from all the investment funds in the world, you can't underperform the market. You will have found all the best opportunities. And if you do the work correctly, you will find all the best golden op opportunities, the best stock ideas in the market. Okay, same thing. And you ask yourself, do you understand the business, numbers, etc., etc., etc. Now, uh, seven source of inform information, a simple screener. So you put your filters and you s filter out the bad companies. So the best screener I have for you is FinChat. Again, you have a promo code in the description. You can put as many filters as you want. You will have thousands of results. I would recommend to put the filters you like. I personally like having these filters. Let's say, let me think about it. EPS growth higher than 10% for the past 10 years. So I want earnings per share to grow 10%, CAGA uh, for the past 10 years. I want the companies to do buybacks. So I'm putting no total number of shares of minus 2% every year. So there is a share reduction of 2% every year for the past 10 years. I want the PE ratio to be below 30, below 25, below 30. So I'm buying quite cheap. Now you filter out a lot of uh, bad companies. Now I want the return on invested capital to be above 15. I can be greedy and put 20 if I want. Now, and you, st you put your filters like this, and at the end, you will only have a couple of hundreds of stocks. So you continue to filter out. I want the free cash flow per share to grow 15% per year. CAGA free cash flow per share of 15% for the past 10 years. Okay, and now you have, I don't know, 30 businesses. Out of these 30 stocks, check them all. Do you understand the business? Out of 30 stocks, I'm a dumb guy so I will only understand, I don't know, five. I never know. So, and out of these five, I check the numbers. And because I have used great filters, I will only keep the best ones and only have good filters, guru focus, numbers, growth, etc. So out of the five, maybe I will keep four. And these are businesses at a good valuation, at a good multiple. Now this is a qualitative work. Qualitative work, does the business have a competitive advantage? Maybe I will not understand this one, so maybe out of the remaining four, I will understand one or two, and that's it. And out of one or two, I will buy one, and that's it. You don't need to be right many times in a year. You only need one or two key ideas per, per year, and you will get rich. That's that's uh, how I did it, and I've been doing this for seven, eight, eight years now. So. Um, so far, so good. So that's the seventh source of idea. Now, the next one, oh, we are going to the end of this framework. This is the eighth one, FinChat AI Assistant. That's also the reason why I use FinChat on a daily basis, is that you have ChatGPT, but for finance. So I want to say, okay, hey, FinChat, give me 10 stock ideas with these filters. So instead of running the, the screener, I can put more qualitative metrics with ChatGPT, with this AI assistant. I want the uh, CEO to be the founder of the company. I want the CEO to be in this company for or, uh, at least 20 years. So I want somebody that is old enough, mature enough, okay? And I want these filters, boom, 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 boom. Okay, they will give me 10 stock ideas. And then again, do I understand the business, the numbers, etc., up and to the right, profitable, cash flow, etc., etc. So great way of finding great ideas. And now, at the end, if you still have not found a good opportunity, analyze every competitor of the companies you saw. But this never happens because when you reach this step of the framework, you never run, run out of ideas. So literally, that doesn't happen, never. But in case, in case out of all these analysis, all the stock pitches, you don't like anything, you have a threshold that is so high it's to the sky, uh, if you don't like what you see, analyze all the competitors. And whether you are on FinChat or Stock Unlock, if you are, if you go to the summary tab of the stock, they will give you um, uh, competitors, uh, similar stocks. What you do is you click on every one of them. Every one of them. If you want, uh, no, no, Coca-Cola, they will give you 
Pepsi, they will give you Monster Beverage, they will give you Celsius Holdings, they will give you all the beverage companies. And if you analyze, I don't know, Google, they will give you Snapchat, uh, Meta, and all the companies, and Verizon, Verizon maybe, I don't know, all the uh, telecom media companies. And you check all of them, and you do them all either on FinChat and Stock Unlock, and you go back. Do you understand the business? Guru Focus, analyze numbers with Stock Unlock, competitive advantage, valuation, and you do it. If you like this content, I have an investing coaching program to make you a better investor. In this coaching program, you will learn a complete investing process. You will learn how to find stock ideas, how to properly value stocks, when to buy, when to sell, so that you can build a strong portfolio with great companies. So what comes with the coaching program? You will get access to an exclusive community of like-minded investors and you will get my personal guidance to help you build the portfolio of your dream so that you can have long-term results with your stock portfolio. Click the first link in the description to get more information. You will get a 10-minute video that explains how everything works completely for free. No need for your mail address. Just click the first link in the description and I'll see you on the other side.